Are you looking at buying your next game but not sure whether you should buy a physical copy or a digital copy? Well, coming up, I'll discuss the differences between the two options. Welcome back everybody. My name is Wayne with me to you game truck and thank you for watching today's video Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button which will help my channel grow Now before we get started make sure you leave in the comments below Which do you prefer do you prefer physical games or do you prefer digital games? So what is a physical game a physical game is something that is tangible something that you can actually hold in your hands You can open it up. You can find the disc in there if it has any artwork you can see the artwork it's all right here in your hands and it's a physical piece of equipment. You will have to go to the store and buy the game. So whether it's your Best Buy or your GameStop or Amazon or your local gaming store if you have one, you'll need to go there and, and purchase it. Um, and sometimes maybe even with Best Buy, GameStop or Amazon, you don't necessarily have to go there, but you do have to order it online and then you'll need to wait for that copy to arrive to your house and then you'll have that physical piece that's in your hand it will give you access to the game. You'll have to insert it into your console and then let the game download. And then once you are ready to play that game in the future, you'll simply need to put the disc into the console, which gives you the access information that the console needs in order to play that game. So a physical copy of the game in theory could last you forever as well. And this works really well if you're a collector of video games and you would like to display all of the games that you have for people to see by putting them up on a shelf or something like that. And as well with the physical copy and being a collector, some of the different copies of physical discs come with different artworks or special versions of the game in which you may pay a little bit more, but you also get different designs like maybe a, a hard metal case or some sort of specific uh, artwork that comes in only in the physical copies with the disc. Also with the physical copy, you'll be able to borrow this to your friends or uh, if you have another family member who has a console and you want to borrow it to them, you guys can trade back and forth between who's playing what games. And if you have a friend, you can borrow it to them. Um, also, if you would like to, you can take the physical copy and actually trade it in or resell it on eBay or GameStop or even just like a Facebook marketplace. If you have the physical copy, it allows you to do that. Now, before I move on and talk about what digital copies of video games are, if you're finding value in this video, if you would, please make sure you hit that like button. Okay, so what is a digital copy of video game? A digital copy is an intangible copy of the video game, meaning you cannot hold it in your hand. It is not physically with you. Uh, a digital copy is something that you will go on to the online store of your particular console carrier. So either your Xbox, your PS4, your Nintendo Switch, or even your Steam or other PC downloading services. And then you'll buy your game digitally through those services. Now you also may be able to go to your local store and buy a little card which will give you um, like a passcode which you can then enter into your console and then it'll download that way. And now once you've downloaded the game, the good thing about it is it gives you instant access to the game. So if you're playing Destiny 2 and you wanna switch over to Call of Duty, all you have to do is go to your game library, select that game and it instantly starts up. You don't have to worry about getting up out of your seat, trying to thumb through your different games that you have there and then finding the game that you want and then taking it out of the case and then putting it into your console. All of that is gone now by using the digital versions by just simply going to your game library, selecting what you want, and it's instantly going to load. One thing to keep in mind though is a digital version is typically going to be a larger file size than what you will find in the uh, physical copy. But you know the convenience factor of having the digital version really sometimes can outweigh that as long as you have the hard drive space in order to download all the games that you want. Something that I don't see talked about a lot is if you're on an Xbox or a PS4 and you have a family share type of plan, um, you're actually getting two copies for one. And what I mean by that is if you're sharing your Xbox Live or your PSN accounts, um, you can share not only your Live and have two um, consoles with internet on it, you can also share those particular games between the two consoles. 
Now, if you're wondering to yourself whether you should buy a physical or a digital copy, then make sure you check out this playlist right here in which we go over the pros and cons of each of those options. And thanks again for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.